Got a couple cash cows I want to look into for my guy, Dr. Joe. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, and today we are working with my man, Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe, just a a quick little tidbit about him before I jump into the first property that I got for him. He, uh, obviously, he's a doctor, right? From out of town, but he moved to Cleveland, and uh, he is looking to build a big portfolio, right? And obviously, he has the wherewithal to do it, right? He's a doctor, right? So W-2 income is not going to be an issue. So he's got a a large amount of capital he wants to deploy. He wants to set himself up along with his wife, uh, you know, for a very cozy retirement, right? So we're trying to build a 40 to 50 unit portfolio in a uh, rather quick manner, right? So... Already have one project underway with Dr. Joe. Uh, We're going to be closing on that shortly. My team will be beginning the rehab. So I got him a couple more today. These are both duplexes because, Joe, I know you're trying to, uh, you know, hit the extreme cash flow. You also really like the metro area because, like like, like I like it, right, because, uh, you know, the metro health area, we're seeing a billion dollars of investment going into that medical system and the surrounding community. So the prices in that neighborhood are great right now. Price to rent ratio is insane. It's off the charts because it's a D-class neighborhood, but the billion dollars going in leads us to believe that that is probably going to be one of the safest speculation plays to make in the Cleveland market. And you being a doctor specifically, you know, you have you know, <clears throat> frontline knowledge of the type of benefits a huge medical systems investment into a, a you know, a low, uh, low income community can really do, man. So you bought into that uh, particular neighborhood. You see opportunity there, as do I. So both properties I got for you today, <clears throat> they're going to be centered around that particular area. The first one, 3567 West 46, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. 11 days it's been on the market. List price $60,000 listed by KRCH Realty. Now, this is a duplex. Okay. We have one tenant paying $600 a month. The other unit is vacant. It will need rehab. I'll get into that shortly. Once we get a tenant in there after the rehab, though, $750 a month is what we should be bringing in. I want to go Section 8 on that unit. Because, yeah, a lot of good stuff's coming into this neighborhood, guys, but it's still a low-income neighborhood, and Section 8 is what alleviates our risk, folks. The biggest risk to these, uh, you know, low-income neighborhoods, okay, it, it, it's simple. It's the tenants not paying their rent, right? And then they don't pay their rent. You got a victim that costs you money. The property sits vacant. Other people vandalize it. Although with this particular property, it's a duplex. So it's it's rare that you have it go completely vacant. So that is something that's a little nice with duplexes. They have more tenant by tenant turnover, but you never have it go completely vacant, which does protect your interests when you're in the low income neighborhoods, protects you from crime, right? A uh, lot less likely someone breaks in to steal the copper out of a property when there's still someone living there than a vacant one, right? <clears throat> but Section 8, when you're in these neighborhoods, though, man, it alleviates a lot of that stuff, right? We get guaranteed tenants paying rent, which means we don't have to do evictions with scotch money, which means we don't have to re-rehab the properties all the time, which costs us money. We don't have to deal with vandalism. So Section 8's the way to go. So 750 is what I want to target for that. So with the current tenant, 600, 750, 1350 is what I'm projecting. Now, what we have, just uh, from what I got, the unit that is being rented at 600, they got some photos of that prior to them putting the tenant in there. And, you know, they rehab it nice right <clears throat> it's a little uh you know neutral decor we got uh you know just decent stuff right nothing um nothing like jumps out at me is like oh my god amazing but you know it, it's perfect it's serviceable this is great right so that particular unit looking good as far as the second unit goes 
they have told us that it's going to need rehab. So because it's going to need rehab, it's in this particular neighborhood. I know it's just on the market, but I want to try to target this for you for $50,000. Now, it's listed at $60,000, but I think the price we need to, to get this deal at is fifty k because I am also going to budget fifteen thousand dollars for renovations so we got to pick it up at 50 so we can afford the budget of 15k in rental which puts us all in at 65 which i think is right where you want to be right of the 1350 that comes in estimated monthly average of expenses 682 calculating everything repairs and maintenance right now 67 guys 67 dollars for repairs and maintenance we are not freaking doing 67 dollars of repairs every month right what that is is a lot of nothings and then boom three thousand dollar turnover renovation stuff like that which goes back to the section eight stuff why it's so important to go section eight what else do we got right capital expenditures again that's 67 what is that okay that accounts for our hot water tank our furnace our roof roof on a property like this probably a six thousand dollar roof you gotta redo it every 30 years hot water tanks you're gonna have two of them we got two tenants they each cost about 3k to replace they're gonna need to be done every 30 years uh i don't know if i said hot water tanks or furnaces but furnaces is, is 3k the next one hot water tanks you got to redo those every 15 years those cost about a thousand dollars right so that's what we're calculating we're, we're we're saving 67 bucks every month we're not considering it part of our return when i give you the return numbers it does not calculate that 67 that's going in your pocket which you're saving for your capex it doesn't count the repairs and maintenance because you're saving that as well because those things are gonna happen all the time you're never going to get a rental that's not going to have turnovers you're never going to get a house that doesn't need the furnace replaced on average every 30 years or the roof etc right so stuff like that the other stuff simple taxes insurance click the show notes below for insurance quotes guys my team we have a farmer's business okay we got farmers guys we own a farmer's franchise we also are appointed with other insurance providers and all we do is insure landlords so what that means is we take your book of business, we take your portfolio to a whole slew of insurance providers looking for the best landlord policies. That's what we specialize in. Specialize in. That's what we deal with, right? We're not really interested in insuring your boat or your, you know, your fancy house in California, guys. We insure rental properties. And if you think the guy that insures your boat knows what it's like to insure Midwestern rental properties. You are out of your mind because it's totally different ball game here. We're dealing with 100-year-old properties. Totally different ball game. So anybody watching Joe's episode on Holton Wise TV right now, show notes below. Click that if you want to lower your insurance rates. Doesn't have to be here in Ohio, guys. We are licensed coast to coast, right? Other stuff, water, sewer, lawn care, PM, yada, yada, right? At the end of the day, on average... 668 is what I'm factoring in for our profit. So 8 G's a year. This is the beauty <clears throat> of real estate financing though, right? Joe, you're going to pick it up hopefully at 50K. We put 15 in. Then we go ahead and get it appraised, get it refinanced. I'm hoping since we're going to deck out that other unit with premium upgrades for two reasons. One, because we want to get it Section 8 approved and we want the very best possible tenants to have the very lowest turnover. And then, of course, they're going to be paying the highest possible rent, 750 And then that second reason we're doing that, dude, we are doing that because we want the appraiser to come in there and be like, wow, this is a really nice property. This is very, very nice. The other unit I showed you the pictures already looks good. So we're hoping we can get an appraisal at 75 k if the bank appraises this sucker at 75 k dude. They'll give you back 56 G's, man. You're only all into it for 65. They give you back 56. So you end up with less than $9,000 of your cash into the deal long term. You're bringing home five grand a year, paying off your mortgage. 59% cash on cash return, man. That is a solid investment. And I believe we're going to see some appreciation in that neighborhood because of the Metro Health. And then, of course, right to the north, we got nothing but good stuff up there, right? Edgewater, Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, all that good stuff to the north, to the south. Just Old Brooklyn, man, solid C class. To the west, Lakewood, Camps Corner, Fairview, Rocky River. So we are surrounded by areas that are better than this particular neighborhood all around 
and we have a billion bucks coming in, man. So it's priced right right now from a cash flow perspective to take on the risk. We're going to mitigate the risk with the Section 8 program, and then we're going to hope for the best for the neighborhood. Now let's go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, and I'm going to get into that second property I got for you, brother. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. All right, Joe, welcome back. Now, <clears throat> I'm super excited about this one, dude. This is not going to be uh, as simple or as easy, but at the end of the day, uh, as we're building a big portfolio for you, this is freaking gnarly, man. I really like what we could possibly do here. 3909-3911 Daisy, Cleveland, 44109. 69 grand, been on the market for a while. 70 days. Reason it's been on the market for a while, there's a couple issues, right? Issue number one, they didn't really do a very good job marketing the property. Here's what we got. You get this photo, and then you get that photo. By the way, the house looks like total beats of hell, but hey, that's cool. That's what we want. Two photos, that's all we get. What it is, we got two houses on one lot. And more important than the fact that they didn't really provide us photos is right down here. Let me blow that up. This is where the money train's going to come, dude. Right here, bro. The little back house, two bed, one bath, $300 is coming in and rent. Fucking $300. How in the fuck do you rent that house, a whole fucking house, to somebody for $300? This, this landlord has no clue what they're doing. Second house, three bed, one bath, they're renting that thing for $400. This is insane, right? There's no possible way that a landlord can make any money uh, giving away the house for free, right? So low marketing, pretty much no marketing. It's tenant occupied, so no owner occupied people can buy it. And then the landlord's giving it away to these tenants. So it really makes it hard uh, for investors uh, to you know, want to do the deal, right? It, because it doesn't pencil out, right? It doesn't make any goddamn money. But that, brother, is why I want you to buy the house. We're going to go in aggressive. We are going to try to pick this up for you for $55,000. And you'll see right there in the chart, I have budgeted for us $30,000. I'm not necessarily saying we're going to spend that $30,000 immediately, but some type of renovation is going to need to happen because obviously $300 and $400 does not work. What we are looking at for market rents, though, and these are going to be huge, man. That two-bed, one-bath house in the back, after we fix that sucker up, we should be renting that for eight fifty, which should make you sick to your stomach that there is a landlord renting it out for three hundred right now when the rent should be eight fifty. As far as the home, the three-bedroom home, rather, right? As far as that one is concerned thousand dollars a month man so we should be bringing in 1850 a month as opposed to 700 so 22,200 comes in now the other chart quickly right just going over what it's going to look like that's on a long-term basis 1850 comes in scheduled but you know 
things happen. Same tenant base as before, same strategy. We go section eight for all the reasons mentioned before. We do that, 879 on average will be our expenses. So this thing should kick off almost a grand a month. So almost $12,000 a year is what this thing makes. Now, how do we go from where we're at right now today to bring in 1850 a month and do it in a smart fashion, right? Let me tell you, what we don't wanna do buy the property and then two days later say hey tenants you're paying three and four get the fuck out we don't want to do that right i could see why you might think we want to do that because you want to get to the 1850 okay you want to make the money that's it's what you met me for that's what you invested for that's what you went to college for that's why you became a well you probably became a doctor to help people but also because you want to make money right so you're here with me though solely for the purpose of making money right you want to get to that money, but dude, we can't just go in there, you know, guns a blazing, kicking people out right away because that ain't going to make us any money. Because here's the thing. We already got one project for you underway. The previous property I just showed you, that's an interesting project. You don't want to remove income checks immediately just so you could spend money, right? Because, you know, whole wise, we can't renovate all the properties for you all at the same time, right? There's going to be, you know, some time, right? There's going to be some downtime. So what's nice as you could pick this up, those two tenants, they are paying some rent right now. So while we're working on more immediate projects that don't have income coming in, even though this is very low income, it's, it's scary low, right? It makes me sick how low it is, what this landlord's doing. No wonder the guy's got to dump his property. He's got no business being in this business, right? But there is a little bit of income coming in. So let's collect that while we knock out, you know, your bigger projects that don't have income coming in. Bigger priorities right there. Let's do that. Let's collect a little rent. And then with these tenants, instead of uh, just saying, hey, it's it's 300 or 850 or you got to go, right? You're paying three. You got to pay 850. You got to go. We could incrementally raise them up, you know, be like, hey, you pay 600 and we'll sign you for another year or something like that just to kind of slow down those turnover renovations because eventually when these tenants do move out and you do want to get to that 850 and that 1000 dude i guarantee you we're probably dropping at least 15k on each of these homes so, so that's why i budgeted for you 30 g's right it's going to cost us at least 30 g's to get from where it's at right now to this cash cow that is producing 1850 but dude the numbers are insane, right? That's why it makes it worth it. That's why I targeted this for you. All in, 85K. Dude, 13.7 cap. If we get it to appraise for 100 grand, which I don't see being a problem. You dump 35 or 30,000 or so into this property, you bring in almost $2,000 a month. Getting this sucker to appraise for 100 grand shouldn't be an issue, man. Two properties, two houses right there rather. So you do that, the bank will give you back 75 of your 85. That means you're only into this thing for $10,000. After it all pans out, you pay your mortgage, man. That's a 79% return on investment. Now, do you get that investment tomorrow? No. Do you get it next week? No, right? Like I said, man, I think you want to take it kind of slow. But over the long haul, this is just a producer for you, man. This is just a producer. So <clears throat> I think we do this as a burr, but we do it kind of slow, right? Kind of slow. Let's balance it out while we're trying to build up your other projects, man. Because, you know, we can't do 50 go from zero to 50 units in two months. We can't do 50 renovations in two months, right? So let's keep a little bit more cash coming in while we're funding some of the other stuff. And in addition, <clears throat> because it's in the metro area and I see that market rising, the fact that you're going to do the refinance later, that, in my opinion, is only going to help us because I believe the prices are only going to go up in that particular neighborhood. So that is what I think we do on this sucker. And that is why I really love this one for you. And again, <clears throat> I know we're trying to lowball them here. They're listed almost 70. But again, like, dude, who is going to be interested in this with what it's got right now? Owner-occupied people aren't. Investors are like, what the hell, $300 a month? What am I supposed to do, right? I mean, my estimation <clears throat> is this property is going to cost, on average, eight seventy nine dollars a month to operate. The, 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 current, the current landlord's only bringing in 700 So... Currently, right now, my estimation, this sucker right now loses $179 a month every single month on average. And that, Dr. Joe, is why you should buy it because we are going to be able to extract some serious value because there ain't no way you're able to get that kind of rent for this price 
any other way other than picking up a property from a distressed seller who's got no clue what they are doing. So those are the properties I found for you today, man. Let me and my team know. Everybody else who's watching this, a couple things. Number one, you do not have the opportunity to bid on these properties. Joe seen this video probably three months ago. It was sent to him at a private link. That's how it works when you sign up to do deals with us. If you're interested in working with me and my team one-on-one, -on -one, just like Joe is, we could help you build a portfolio. HoltonWise.com, property search for sale tab. Two options for you, right? investment properties for sale show you definitely want to make sure you're watching that guys that's the properties we are selling we are the number one seller of rentals here in the cleveland market you have the opportunity to watch video tours of our properties bid right then and there if you want to dig deeper though you could do what joe did click the mls search and analysis show order a package right this package allows you to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one. You tell us how much money you got. You tell us your situation. You tell us your goals. You tell us what you want to do, and we will work back and forth with you. We've got many options available. The most popular one is this 10 property package for two Gs, okay? For two Gs, we will analyze 10 properties. Typically, we do two properties in a video, but sometimes it could be one. Sometimes it could be three, right? And... Uh, we take what you want to do, we match you with properties, and we kind of explain the situation. And maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you want to shift gears, uh, but that's the thing, right? It's this whole long-term coaching, real estate brokering, you know, combination, right? We're finding you deals, we're coaching you through them, you know, showing you what to do, and we're working for you and for you only, right? We don't work for the sellers of these properties. If you want to see my properties that I'm being paid to sell, you got to watch the Investment Properties for Sale show. I don't put any of my own properties on this show. This show, I work for you, I work for you only, and I am here for you. So with Joe, you know, that property listed at 70 grand, and I think the seller's got no fucking clue what they're doing. And I'm going to try to beat the shit out of that seller in the negotiations. My goal is to extract as much money out of that seller as humanly possible, right? You see a lot of people talking about like, oh, if it ain't win-win, it's not a deal. Yeah, they're lying. That's just a little marketing tactic, guys. When it comes to this show... I work for you and for you alone. I ain't trying to make win-win deals with these sellers. I am trying. You are paying me to extract every single dollar out of those sellers I possibly can and put it in your pocket. So that's why Dr. Joe did that, and that's a good thing. And then lastly, guys, if you want my MLS access, you just click here. We got options. You could uh, get seller finance deals, comps, everything based upon uh, the areas as far as risk level and property types. So if you're interested in singles, multis, big apartment buildings, if you like the D-class stuff me and Joe have been working on today, I got it in there. But if you're like, oh, I don't want to deal with Section 8. I don't want to deal with the risk. I don't want to deal with that. I want safe investments, right? We got C-class, B-class, A-class, whatever you guys want. I've got, go ahead and Google the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods uh, to get yourself an example what I mean when I say A, B, C, D, or F class properties. That's it. That's enough out of me, though. Guys, thank you for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.